So yeah, after I came up with these methods, I've literally never had beat block ever since. I can't remember the last time I've had beat block. Look, look. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys how to never have a beat block again. During my time making beats, obviously like everyone else, I went through beat block multiple times. And over time, I've kind of built these strategies to avoid going through that phase again. And ever since, I haven't really had that lack of inspiration again. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five great methods, which I haven't yet seen on YouTube. So be sure to stay tuned because I've included one of my favorite ones by the end of the video. As always, if you enjoyed or learned anything from this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you guys want next. Let's get into it. So this video was originally suggested by someone called um, Prod by Adventure. If you you guys want to have this opportunity in the future to be including these sort of videos be sure to go follow me on instagram because i do ask you guys like video ideas and such of what you guys actually want for the first tip which i think is really effective is to make or listen to different genres of music why i say this is because a lot of you guys who make trap sort of music which is mainly probably my audience right now a lot of you just make sort of trap when you do that you kind of get engaged to what you can make because you can make a lot more if you can make trap you can make stuff like r&b drill boom bat basically just explore what you can actually create because you can go a lot more further than you think you can to show that i'm I'm gonna actually be making a club pop beat right now just to show you guys that you can do it i'm just gonna make it real quick and i'm just gonna boost the color a little bit and i'm literally gonna just put like a few notes down up again literally just that go down to d sharp it's not as repetitive bring down the velocity so i'm gonna start off with the clap so i'm gonna get shaper box i want to add some bounce to that piano like that. Took it over. Bring it down. Bring this up. Bring this down. But yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Basically, just make different sort of stuff from that. You get inspiration because you're not always making the same thing. That's just the first tip, really, that I want to show you guys. And now for the second one, I just want to say to use different VSTs and one shots. One shots are really slept on for what they are. So yeah, if you're using one shots and it makes you a lot more creative with um, what you're making, really, you have to work with what you have and you can make some good loops. I'll play one now. And that was literally just fully with one shots. No VSTs included in that. That was like one of my first beats on YouTube. If you're always using the same VST for stuff like, you know, contact and such, I always use contact. I'm one of those people, but there's just some VSTs that you probably have, but you never really touch. Eventually you'll find out that there are some good sounds in there. For example, Analog Lab. I've got Analog Lab. I don't use that much. I haven't even updated it. The Analog Lab is full of amazing sounds. You just literally scroll through there. You will find some good stuff guaranteed. And with most VSTs, there are like at least some good things. It's kind of hard. And for one shots, really, there's so much you can get on like Reddit and such for free. I'm going to just use the same one I use for like pop one. Something like that. And then you can then go to a different pack. And there's like these little simp sounds that I think sound good. Also random, you can be so creative with it. Before I got Omnisphere, when I was using one shots, literally when I started off, I made some melodies that I look back and I think, wow, how the hell did I make that? And so yeah, for the third one, as simple as it sounds, take a break. It doesn't have to be like a week break, a few days, but it could literally be one day. Basically, what I'm saying is to go outside, you know, enjoy life all it is, and just get your head off music for a bit. Because sometimes if you're stuck at your desk the whole time, like I am right now, you just get a lack of inspiration because you're just looking at the same thing all day, every day. When I'm away from home for a bit, like if I go on holiday for like a week or so, I get so inspired because I'm so away from my things and i think i'll make this melody i'll put this in my voice notes when you're out you do normally get a lot of inspiration get away from the desk is what i'm saying you work for like three days or so you can make some good melodies whereas if you go for like two weeks straight no break one day it could be like a few hours just go outside and you know it's just good for your mental health as well and so yeah for the fourth one use samples on youtube not just any samples like old samples to see how they did it back then how they went around with making these sort of loops and such you know without fruit loops i'm just gonna show you an example i searched up dark samples here like as you can see there's all these playlists if you're doing dark samples, stuff like this, which looks like proper horror soundtracks, are sick for dark samples. I hardly really sample myself, but people like Southside and that do play one of the snippets that he sampled before, and it sounded sick. Like, it was so fire. <laughs> It's 
is one of my favorite Southside boots. They literally just scroll through like this. After that, you can then go to their channel. They've got all these uploads of just random samples. You just dig through them. And then you know, go down to the recommended or something like that. What's this? Oh, look, we just got a flute sample. You can also get inspiration from these to see how they made it. I'll even pick one. Ugh. <laughs> I'm downloading this for later. <laughs> and you could take inspiration to see what key they're in and such. For example, we've got dark samples. It'll probably be like D sharp, C sharp, F sharp minor, harmonic minor scales and such. Yeah, so scales is another one. If you don't know how to get to scales in FL Studio, just go down here, go to view, go down to scale highlighting, and you have all these and the minor scales. My favorite scale by far is minor harmonic. And there's also stuff like, you know, the minor natural Arabic scale. I've seen Metro Boomin use this a lot. Arabic scale can be fire. Like, have you heard those Arabic samples? And so yeah, for the fifth one is one which I found recently, and it's so helpful, like so helpful is to use midis and to listen to samples on youtube so for one i'm going to cover the samples it's a bit like the you know like loop kits search up like a loop kit and you'll be like okay i want to make something dark And then bam, inspiration right there. It just shows how easy it can be. You just look at other people's loop kits, look at like tight beats. If you want to make like a Pirate Swipper type beat or Pirate Swipper loops, search out Pirate Swipper type beat or Pirate Swipper loops to get inspiration from that. Producers can listen to tight beats as well as artists. The more you listen to them, is the more inspiration you're going to get. If there's more music around you, you're going to feel inspired. As for minis, I've got some of my minis for my weekly sample pack, which you can sign up for. Just DM me on Instagram. I'm just going to pick one from here. I'm just going to get a piano to just show it. A lot of the time, I start off with a piano if I'm using a MIDI and then I'll change it to another instrument bring that into here and look so yeah it's already brought some inspiration there so you can see it's d sharp minor and then you can build some top notes and such uh, for the sample side let's just get one of my loops for example <laughs> But yeah, like for example, if you hear that, literally bring it in and then go to the end as you can see there's these little breaks which are for the stems this is the first one you can hear what I did there. I had a little trumpet. You know, so like here, for example. Okay, there's strings there. There's a choir. And there's a sub bass. If you feel really uninspired, download actual samples from other people. If you're trying to make samples as well, just download samples from other people, put them in, and then they normally do stem out. So just listen to the stems, see how many layers they do, see what key they're in and such, and then build off of that yourself. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five layers there. So, you know, you could do five layers, you could do it the same key. So yeah, after I came up with these methods, I've literally never had beat block ever since. I can't remember the last time I've had beat block. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's basically the end of the video. If you got to here, Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you guys want next. Follow me on Instagram at Ellis Lost on there. Yeah, see you in the next one. Peace. Download Fortune as well. <laughs>